first time. Huh? I said I heard what you said the first time. I just what did you say on camera. That's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Christ, it's the God. worst Super Bowl I've ever seen in my entire life. It's four hours of my life I cannot get back. I think the best part about the the game was uh, the, the, the halftime show. The halftime show was good. Halftime show was good. Uh, I thought all the performers did a good job. I didn't really know who Travis Scott is, but uh, he wasn't. They were muting half his song because I guess he was using profanity. But but you can't go wrong with Outkast though. No, yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, Big Boy was okay. I mean, you can have Outkast at a funeral and people be jamming out. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, your brother just died. Ooh, Outkast is playing. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the halftime show was, was undoubtedly. I mean, it wasn't a, it wasn't the greatest halftime show I've ever seen in a Super Bowl, but it was better than the game. The game was atrocious. Yeah. This is the worst Super Bowl I've ever sat through. Uh, I, I couldn't I mean, wait for it to be over. I, I can't believe I came to your house and watched it. I can't believe you invited me to your house to watch it. <laughs> it's just horrible. Like, oh. but it's over. Football season officially over. Patriots are the champs. Rams couldn't get it done like my Eagles could. Fly Eagles fly. Mm. It, and you it know? would end on a uh, on a missed field goal. Yeah, I think that was classic. Not that it mattered anyway. I mean. I know the Rams are doing what they could to, to, to do what they needed to do, but... Shout out to the refs for all the golf today. Great job. Yeah, it was another... You had a great season. I think the refs had a good season this year. Uh, they got paid very well. Uh, uh, the Patriots had penalties, though. So somebody's checked in clear. Yeah. I, I think the cheerleaders did awesome, though. I didn't uh, see that one male cheerleader for the Rams. No, I no. did. I saw him. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. How'd he do? I mean, he was just standing there. <laughs> I saw him. <laughs> I mean, Edelman had a great game. I don't know who got MVP. I don't think they've announced it yet to this point in the video, but I think uh, they it, should it, probably get MVP, even though they'll probably give it to Brady. In. In, in my vote, I think the fans should get the MVP because we had to sit through and watch the game. So uh, yeah, I was disappointed with the commercials too. What do you think about the commercials? I, I think they should have been better ones. Like I mean, there was a couple of good ones that I actually enjoyed watching, but there was some I'm like, why are we even watching this? Why did you even pay money to have this aired? I mean, yeah. like you could have that commercial at any other time, but you picked the Super Bowl to have the commercial. The Bublé commercial was probably the funniest one. Yeah. In the convenience store. But uh, they were lame this year. I, I mean, everything about the Super Bowl was trash, except for the, except for the halftime show. Like, And I thought that was going to suck. But I like Maroon 5, always have. I like Big Boy Without Cast. Uh, I didn't know who Travis Scott was till tonight. But he did okay, outside of them muting half his song because he was using profanity. Um, but... Football season's over. All, all we had to wait for now is the NFL draft. Free agency. No, I don't care about free agency. Got to see where Nick Foles goes. Uh, but but we now know who the new head coach is for the Miami, Miami Dolphins. Dolphins, which we didn't know. <laughs> we, we were, they sat over the broadcast tonight. You know the greatest commentator, Tony Romo. Yeah, that dude's awesome. He is. He's, he's a good. He's he's a great analyst. Maybe he'll take over the video game industry too. <laughs> that would be awesome. I could buy a Tony Romo game, right? I would buy you Tony one. Romo twenty one, <laughs> huh? I would buy you a Tony Romo game. <laughs> <laughs> An Eagles fan have a Tony Romo game. That'd be awesome. It'd be gift wrapped with, with cowboy paper. It'd be full of December losses. <laughs> oh, oh. That sucks. Well, I, you know, I'm glad the fact that To's on the cover of Madden nineteen wearing a cowboy jersey. Which I don't understand. He went to the Hall of Fame as an Eagle, so I don't get that at all. That was just a Cowboy fan doing what a Cowboy fan does. I mean, you know. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, if you put a Cowboy fan in control of a cover of anything, 
it's going to be a cowboy player on the cover. Right. And nobody's going to buy the game with that cover. They're going to go buy an, an alternative. They would rather go buy a cover with a red skin on it. Oh, no. That. God, I'm no. Saying, I'm just saying. No, I'm God, saying, no. I'm just saying. I'm not going to buy saying. anything with red skin on it. I'm just saying. The only thing I have for red skins is for park ball. But that's because I, I don't even think we had a Cowboys team here. So. I mean, if I could buy a Tony Romo commentator jersey, I would if they made those. Get a CBS Tony Romo <laughs> blazer. Blazer. Yeah. Put, put number nine on the back. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. All day long. Who are you rooting for? The commentator. He does an awesome job. With the Romo. Yeah. Yeah. And at the bottom it says Eagles suck. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can start that webpage. EaglesSuck.com. It already exists. <laughs> no, you already checked it out? I've already been there. <laughs> That's sad. That's pretty lame. <laughs> it's a cowboy suck too. <laughs> com. Been there too. Do you own that it's one? It's actually pretty lame too, to be honest with you. <laughs> They're just you, haters. Do you own that website? No, I, I didn't. I did not make it. I got it. I got <laughs> no, but you're waiting for someone to get rid of it. You go pick it up for a dollar. That would be cool. <laughs> well, I'm going to wait till like EaglesSuck.com is available. I'm going to buy that.com. There's a Tony Romo sucks.com too. You should check that one out. <laughs> no, I don't want to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think there's a Dak Prescott blows too. Okay, I'll go to that one. No. Uh, see, while we're filming right now, if I said what I want to say that I'd rather have Nick Foles our quarterback than Dak Prescott and this gets to the internet and people are like, wow, you said that on, on camera? And when I edit this, I will make sure that's what it sounds like you're saying. <laughs> you put words in my mouth <laughs> and, and Photoshop me. He said it. And, and like, like Photoshop right me. Here. And like Photoshop me, like holding the camera on field, talking to someone. Yeah. <laughs> like saying, we want Nick Foles as our quarterback. <laughs> this is good material I'm getting here. Oh. It's good stuff. Oh. You know he, he wants to. It's not the first Cowboy fan I've, I've said. I've heard say they would they want one of our quarterbacks, so. But that's terrible. So so what you should do is you should go buy a Nick Foles Eagle jersey. When he comes to the Cowboys, I'll buy a Nick Foles Cowboys jersey and we'll wear it together. Okay, first and foremost, <laughs> he's not coming to Dallas. That's not happening. No, I still say he ends up in Jacksonville. Maybe we can get Jalen Ramsey out of the deal. I'd be super good with that. Because as the world looks at Dak Prescott and goes, he sucks, Jerry Jones goes, oh, no, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Right. Yes, I know we picked up Amari Cooper. He got exposed, but whatever. Because Jerry Jones loves Dak Prescott. And as long as Jerry Jones holds that team, you guys are stuck with it. Yeah. At least for the next couple of years. So. Well, I think he's got two more years on his contract. Did it, it, it become the No, year? he's on the same uh, run as, uh, he was in the same draft as Wentz. And Wentz is about to enter. We'll pick up the fifth year option on Wentz this year. And I'm sure Dallas will do the same with that. So he'll play next year for his rookie minimum. And then at the end of this, this time next year, You'll be dumping money everywhere else to pay Dak, just like we're going to have to do wins. Of course, then we'll find out. Then we'll, a year from now, we're going to find out a lot about what uh, people think about Dak versus what people think about wins. Because that money is going to tell us everything. So right now, the Eagles have to dump, 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 dump. The Eagles are going to have a whole new team next year because we've got to dump a lot of people. And Dallas may be doing the same thing with Dak. Uh, I think if they do, it's a mistake. So do you, because you don't think I don't think Dak Prescott's a franchise quarterback. And I feel no. like you, you may not say it. No, you may not no. agree, but no, I, 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 I don't think he's a. I, I don't think he's a franchise. Then you don't pay for it. See, and that's no. why I say this time next year, the Dallas Cowboys Jerry Jones is going to have to make up his mind because Dak's going to want money. Oh yeah, and that means they're going to have to make cuts and make uh make things happen with their uh with their cap. If it was re, if it was me, I'd get to, uh, you know, I would get rid of uh, 
the clapper of the year, which would be Jason Garrett. Yeah. And and I would go find a, <laughs> I would go find a, a, a better head coach. Uh, I would get rid of Dak Prescott. If I didn't get rid of him, then I, I would make him my number two, and then I would go get a veteran quarterback for cheaper. Yeah. And make him my starter and have Dak as a backup. I could I think Dak would be a good backup, but start wise and like management wise, no. Yeah. I mean. Honestly, Tony Romo sh- should have stayed about two more years to actually teach him some stuff like, yeah, you know, like you know how the game runs. Yeah, because because I think Tony Romo could have taught him a lot about the game. Yeah, but that ain't what Tony Romo wanted to do. No, uh, you know, he manned up and said that is Dak's team now and left. Yeah, which I mean, no one. That's, that's, that's the sad part. No one told him he had to go. Yeah, but so that's what I think. I think they need a veteran. A veteran quarterback. He's a veteran quarterback and another strong wide receiver. Yeah. And then, I mean, I'm not saying Super Bowl or playoffs, but I mean, I can see a lot of improvement going on there. Yeah. So, and, I, and that's, and I, I'm not like, you know that. I'm not like you're a super, you're a Cowboy fan. Are oh, we going Super Bowl every year? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You're not like most of them. No. That's why we can have conversation. I mean, I didn't believe we'll make the playoffs this year, to be honest with you. But then we signed Mari Cooper and there you go. But yeah. you, but you think about it, we would have had a threat at wide receiver on, on the other side of Maury. Yeah. I mean, I'm still not well, saying. We'll see, man. Antonio Bryant is, is, is somebody I'm looking at to come to the Cowboys next year because he kind of fits that Cowboy mold. Uh, and if you put him on the other side of Amari, you still got Dak as your quarterback, but your wide receivers are set. And that, that, that tandem right there, could you imagine having Amari Cooper and Antonio Bryant? Oh, I do. I mean, dude, that would, be, that would probably be the best wide receiver combo in the NFL. And I'm an Eagles fan, and I'm saying that, and it makes my throat hurt. But um, but, but, but could you think about having Amari Cooper, Antonio Brown, and then you have Nick Foles as quarterback? <laughs> You're not getting Nick Foles. <laughs> like, you got to get off the Foles. Like, Foles will not come to that. Dude, I guarantee you, he'll be in Doug Peterson's office before this goes down, and he's going to be like, dude, I don't care where you go. You ain't going to Dallas, you ain't going to Washington, and you ain't going to New York Giants. Not because he knows he'll burn them up when he goes. Yeah, no, he's trying to, he's trying to have our guy go there. And I want, I want Foles to go, wherever Foles goes, I want him the to be successful <laughs> and, and possibly win a Super Bowl as long as it don't affect us. You know what I mean? Like, I want that dude to go well, on. He will forever be a legend of Philadelphia. Yeah, of course. Ever. Of course. And it's sad that your backup quarterback has a ring and your start doesn't. Yeah, but... <laughs> Wentz is our future, man. <laughs> Wentz is our future. We'll, we'll see. We'll, well see. Like, we'll technically, see. technically, he did get a ring because he's on the team. But what I mean is, like, he didn't he play. He was injured. Yeah. Wentz but, has yet to play a playoff game, and I think that's where the big gamble is in Philly because... We're literally letting our Super Bowl MVP, Nick Foles, walk out of the door and go to another team um, and going in with our future in, in Wentz. And Wentz has yet to uh, – Wentz has proved that he can win in the regular season, but Wentz is not oh, – yeah. he hasn't, he hasn't so played the playoffs yet. We don't know how he does in the playoffs. We don't know how he's going to do. So what are you going to say if – so 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 this coming up year be Wentz's third year? Fourth. Yeah, fourth. Well, uh, what, what I mean by uh, hold on, I jumped ahead of myself. It'd be a fourth year, but but what if he gets hurt for the third time this year? Uh, he's already starting to get the injury prone tag. So, like, what are you gonna say then on, on his fourth year and gets hurt third uh, third year and guess and guess what? You, you <laughs> like you fall back on your backup and you don't have Nick Foles there. You're screwed. Yeah, now I agree. If that happens, then I'll be sitting here saying we made a mistake and we got to cut bait. And uh, start over again. That's gonna suck. But we're not there yet, so I don't have to. I don't have to worry about that right now. Because I have a funny. Because this is your third year, and of you've been hurt. Of course, you're gonna be negative, Nancy. <laughs> yes, I am. And I'm trying to be optimistic. <laughs> yes, I am. Just like we, uh, we're on flip sides with the Cowboys. Because I mean, if you think about it. If if he goes down in like the eighth game of the year next year, I'm gonna go ahead and say we clinched. Because. <laughs> If Nick Foles goes, y'all, I mean, who y'all gonna get his backup? You let y'all draft somebody, but I mean, who you gonna get to backup? I mean, Stuffhill's okay, but but no, my luck, the 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 Ravens, 
the, uh, the, the I mean, not Ravens, the uh, Oakland will uh, like uh, trade y'all AJ McCarron for a pick. I mean, y'all sign AJ and he blows up and went to the Super Bowl. I do that. Of course you would. That's, that's I'd, one ta I'd take AJ McCarron, roll tie. You know, that's one quarterback that I feel bad for because I could, because I think he's got. He, I, I'm not saying he's elite. No, I'm not saying he's elite. But I mean, I think given the given the opportunity, he could be a good starter. Yeah. But the thing about it is, is he keeps getting buffed around, and, and every coach says good things about him, and yet they draft him, and then he goes to Oakland. And even though I think Carr may, may I, I mean, yeah, I, I think there's something behind the scenes about McCarron we don't know about. There, there, there has to be. I mean, that's just too many teams. The, the Buffalo Bills got him, and I uh, really thought that was going to be it. But then they turned around and moved up in the draft and took a quarterback, and that was the end of it for him in Buffalo. And I thought for sure Buffalo was going to be his place, and I think he did too. And I watched that press conference when he first moved to Buffalo. I think he felt like he was going to be the man, and then they had other plans all of a sudden. So. Yeah, but 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 like what, what happened? happened? But like but it, but here's what's funny though. So they the Buffalo trades AJ to Oakland. Yeah, and then Buffalo's backup, both of them get hurt. Yeah. So like, if you wouldn't have trade AJ, no, the starter and the backup yeah, got hurt. Yeah. If you would have trade AJ, he, you would have had him in. You right. would have had him in. So they had to get another quarterback because they had the other. So it was like bad move on you. Yeah. And, and AJ's over in Oakland, like, hey, <laughs> like, he's right in the pond because he's behind car, behind car. So I mean, I don't, I, and you know, when when Oakland got him, he was going to be there to be the backup. When he went to Buffalo, he was there to be the starter. Yeah. So what's going on in, in behind the scenes that we don't know about with AJ McCarron, like? Something's just you know something's to me is not resonating. Something is not right with AJ McCarron. Something's going on that we don't know. Because uh, when he's on the field, I mean, he did, look when he was in the playoffs for Cincinnati, when they left the field, they were winning. I mean, he had them winning. Their defense is the reason Cincinnati didn't win that playoff game a couple of years ago when he when AJ was in there, and uh, he was playing well. So we know AJ could could be a starting NFL quarterback. So why isn't he? What's going on? I mean, I don't, I don't know. But I mean, but it's like it's, it's saying the same thing is like like you're saying that you know, we don't know what's going on. And I agree with you, but also something has to be going right for teams to, to still either trade for him and get him and sign because like like if you put him on the block, it doesn't mean you you got to accept it. So I mean, well, I think you, uh, I think he's a serviceable backup, and I think they know that. You know, I think that, and that's what they, well, he's a serviceable backup. We don't really necessarily want him to be our starter, but he can come starter in, goes he can, down, he's solid. Come, yeah, but yeah, we're good. He's a serviceable backup. I'm not excited about this year's draft. Uh, I'm just not. There's nobody here. I mean, I don't know who you'd like the Cowboys to draft, but, like, if we don't come out with uh, uh, Jacobs from Alabama, that running back, I'm going to be severely upset he's the only one in this draft i want that's the one guy i want I, everybody else i could care less about if we get jacobs in the first round i'll be stoked but i don't know if he'll make i it think though. jacobs will already be gone by the time y'all I, I do too because uh because like the first five teams that need a running back are, are stupid not to pick him up no there's a Darrell. i think his name is Darrell henderson he's a running back from memphis i like to get him but he I, he'll be there in the second if we can get one of those two guys, if we can't get Dixon in the first and we get Henderson in the second, I'll be happy. But there ain't anybody else in this draft that I want. There are positions that I'd like to get, but there are no starting caliber guys in this draft that I'm going to plug in next year and say, go. I just don't see it. I mean, this, this draft is weak. I don't think there's anybody in this draft that's going to be in the Hall of Fame 20 years from now. Just don't see it. Not next year's draft is going to have more caliber players. This, yeah, next year's draft, 2020's draft is going to be absolutely amazing. That draft is going to be great. Uh, I, I, I will say this. I am worried about Oklahoma next year. Yeah, Hurts is going to uh, uh, Hurts is going to hurt some people next year. I just hope it's not us. Because uh, you got Hurts with that wide receiver core. That he's got. Yeah. And we all know, and we all know his ability. That's yeah. the scary part. He's a special guy. He's, he's a special player. 
Uh, he's a team player, and he's 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 gonna. Uh, Oklahoma's gonna be in the playoffs next year for sure. Roll Sooners. As long as you're not playing Roll Tide, I'm happy. We're good. I, I'm still a Hurts fan. I don't care. I know. I'm pulling for him. I hope he's successful, and I hope he. Go, I hope this helps him go to the NFL draft and can get drafted at a reasonable spot and make some money in the NFL. Um, I hope this is a good move for him. I hope that he's successful. I, I do. Uh, Regardless of what happens with Bama, I hope he's successful. So When he does go to draft, I don't, and, and I've said this for, for two years, I don't think he'll go high in the draft. And like even if he does get drafted, I, like I really don't see him being drafted as a quarterback. Well, I'll, we'll see. Because I think I do think the move to look at Oklahoma's last two quarterbacks both won Heisman trophies. Yeah, I know that back to back years. So I'm not I'm not I'm not he and he has the potential to do that. We were yelling Heisman for him two, two years, years ago. ago. Yeah. So you know I think that he can do it with 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 that coach they have at Oklahoma. He is a quarterback creator. Uh, he can he can get Hurts to that level. So I was super happy he went there for him. And I do think that he can he can elevate man. But, I think he but, can take but it up. what's gonna be funny is though if if that happens, then you'll have Hertz and Tua and run for the Heisman. Yeah. <laughs> a former Alabama quarterback and then the Alabama quarterback. Yeah. It's gonna be interesting, man. Two thousand uh nineteen is gonna be uh it's gonna be interesting, man. And I'm waiting to minute. see what little Tua does. Yeah, we'll see, man. Because supposedly from his high school, he is better than his brother. That's I've heard that too, and I've seen highlights, and he looked really, really good. So we'll see. I mean, I, I I'm excited, man. Uh, I'm, I'm sad football's over. It's, it's like the worst time of the year. Because I mean, who, I mean, I mean, who really watches baseball? I mean, we got baseball, basketball. We ain't got nothing to do for the next six months, so. I'll be getting on here. No, just brushing up on a little 2K. That's all. Doing some 2K. It's 2K. 2K. K. If you don't know, if y'all don't know about a guy, he's on 2K. He played for the Chargers. His name is Ben Lieber. Lieber. Ben Lieber. Dude is Actually, a beast. The Vikings. But yes, I'm the game he plays on the Vikings. Oh. Uh, I don't know because I had to play against him in my season. And it was not good. Dude is a beast. He's not. He's not even like rated. You know, because you guys probably play Madden. You know, have ratings or whatever. Like he's a two two K's the same way. But his rating isn't at that high. But dude, when he's playing in the game, like he's in on every single tackle. Dude gets picks. picks. He's constantly like in coverage. Like he's just beast mode, dude. Ben Lieber. I want to get a Ben Lieber jersey. I want to get. They got Ben Lieber T-shirts on Google, dude. It's, it says. It says the boogeyman checks his closet to make sure Ben Lieber's not in there. <laughs> ben Lieber is, is no joke. He checks his closet for Ben Lieber before he goes to bed. What? I, I invite Ben Lieber into my home. <laughs> we, oh. There's one shirt that says Jesus and Ben Lieber <laughs> are my homeboys. <laughs> I want that one. <laughs> I want that one. That's the one I want. But you catch me and Dustin on here from time to time throughout the off season doing little videos, talking about what's coming up, what's going on, getting our opinions on stuff because we ain't got nothing else to do, you know. I want a Ben Lieber coffee mug. Ben Lieber coffee mug. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if I have kids, his name's gonna be Ben Lieber. <laughs> what's his ben first Lieber name? Ben Lieber McBride. <laughs> what's, what's his first name? Ben. What's his middle name? Lieber. I call him BL for short. <laughs> Lil Lieb. <laughs> Lil Lieb. <laughs> Lil Lieb. Why is your son walking around in a 51 jersey? Because it's Ben Lieber. <laughs> Nobody even knows who he is. But he does call games on uh, Westwood One when you're listening to the games on the radio. Uh, and you're not a Saints fan and you happen to be listening to another game because you guys get stuck with those losers. Uh, I know I live in Saints country. So also, we picked up a tight end on 2K this, pa this past week. Doug Jolly. Doug Jolly, dude's a beast. He's an he's the offensive of Ben Lieber. He catches anything up the middle. Doesn't matter. He clocks guys, man. He just boom burns over him like he's Gronk, dude. Pretty much any no name person that we pick up in two K, they're automatically Ben Lieber yeah. if they do anything. And the stars suck. 
Yeah. Like they can't they can't get they can't catch a break for nothing. But also it's funny is on our game. You have to remember this is the 2004 season, so like Eli Manning is a rookie. Uh, ben Roethlisberger, which is our quarterback on our, our on our drafted team, is a rookie. These guys are all rookies. Jason Witten's a rookie. Jason Witten, yeah, well, he's on. A, I think he's in his second year. He's Wait, young though. They got pictures of these guys, and they're like kids. And he sucks. He's not. He's not real good, man. He's really not. He's okay blocker, but he can't catch to save his life. But they're all young in this game. All these old timers that you guys are watching now, they're all they're all young in this game. So it's really cool, man. Cause you, you, but you also have to take into account when you're doing these drafts, you go draft Ben Roethlisberger. You're not drafting Ben Roethlisberger 2018. You're drafting Ben, ben Roethlisberger rookie, and he doesn't have the accolades stats. and the stats that he has now. So he nobody on the game. You don't know who he is. You know he's a young guy. Uh, his stats are. I mean his uh, his ratings are terrible, but they're also unknown. So it's fun, man. We're we're sitting there plugging two K. T O is on the cover in an Eagles jersey. Just putting that out there because this was made the year the Eagles went to the Super Bowl lost to the Patriots because they're cheating. We got it back from last year. We beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl, unlike these loser Rams. All right, we done. I think we're done. Until next I think week, we're done. All right, we're out.